Hello guys, this is Hexagon Zero, and welcome to the beta tutorial for Titanfall. So, Titanfall beta came out quite recently. It's only going to be on for about five or six days on PC, at least. For Xbox, it was on a little bit longer. But I applied to get my beta code on Wednesday, and I believe I got it Thursday night, and I didn't check my email till Friday morning, so I got something at the end of Friday to look forward to. And this is actually the footage of when I started it up. I uh, rebalanced my video settings so they would work, and since it's a beta, you don't have to do much to it because the video settings allow for recording fairly easily because they don't have any of the higher resolution stuff in there. That isn't saying, and I'm not saying that Titanfall isn't looking amazing because it does. Uh, yeah, so, Titanfall. I've been looking forward to this game. It's I'm coming to call it a blend between Portal and Call of Duty. Please walk through the Because that's kind of what it is. A lot of I've been watching some reviews online, and people are saying that yes, it's essentially just a revamped Call of Duty. And I will kind of agree with that, but it's got Jump Portal aspects. As you can look at the walls, and you can distance. see the theme kind of um, curved edges, white walls, shiny, glossy textures, and that's it. Kind of reminds me of Portal. Jump toward but, the edge of instead of a portal gun, you up. have your Nicely wall jumping done. kit, as we're about to find out. And I'm just marveling at the uh, animation of that. I don't know, what is it, like an ending thing? Anyway. You've got your jump kit, as you'll as see pilot, here. Your most important piece of which is, is allowing you to basically run on, to run on side of walls, walls and all walls that stuff. So essentially, and I totally to with that, but... <laughs> it's essentially just um, Mario or Sonic on steroids. That's kind of what it's like. Yeah. Wall runs can be chained together. And if to you've ever played Portal, you can get these maps fairly quickly and easily. And you can figure them out rather quickly too, because it's very easy to um, navigate and control. They've done a brilliant job well done. building the system to do with wall running and freeform running, as you will see here. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to talk about what I think of Titanfall right now. New that will be coming in Monday's episode. In the Monday's Multiplayer Monday's episode, because it's a multiplayer. I don't, I don't have to play Battlefield, I can play any multiplayer game. So I'm going to release a Titanfall First Impressions tomorrow, and yeah. And you're going to get other Titanfall content throughout the week, Completion because I have a rather curious observation about Titanfall, as you will see tomorrow, because I hope to get this episode up. This, um training simulation thing showcase up today. Jump kits. Extend anyway, so jump right now we're just learning about double jumping. You can jump once more and double jumping is essentially when you briefly engage your jetpack and when you touch another surface your jetpack will jump. Um, double jump recharge itself, to the hole which is to cool. Proceed. It's a nice balancing of the system and here I, I was just kind of testing the wall running aspect. But yeah. So Titanfall as it's present kind of looks like Use wall um, running and like I said, blend with portal. And to me, this to I just thought, okay, that yeah, this is bloody portal. But it's different because you don't have the portal gun. And I've said this already once, but I'm I'm just trying to emphasize the point. It it's a lot of fun to free form to free form wall jump. Pilot. And it looks amazing while you're doing it. So yeah. And so far, as we get into the combat sections of this tutorial, we there are currently two abilities Cloaking, in Titanfall. Number one, you've got Cloak, invisible. that I will show here. If you press survival. Q on your key mapping, well, I've, uh, I've changed it to Q for me, uh, or at least I think it was Q, I can't really remember. You well Cloak, and that's essentially, Cloaking they haven't fully fleshed forever. out the system yet, as Look you can tell by the um, invisible hand there. It doesn't look as good as I think they could make it, time. but then again, this is a beta, so please try to remember that whenever you view any Titanfall footage. But they've got weapons in here. They've got a couple basic weapons and a in couple basic um, other things. And they've got the, attack. of course, stealth kill or execution to to stuff that you've got in, you for say, Battlefield or in uh, Crisis Melee or something like that. Except you don't have to remain crouched like you do in Crisis. Cause I thought, in Crisis, I thought that was rather stupid how you, how you had to be crouched to perform a stealth kill. But anyway, this is the smart pistol. And let me just say, this is the most overpowered thing I have ever ever seen. To a valid now, a it's able to kill grunts in approximately less Wait than the amount of time it would take to aim at a grunt. 
because it will Use automatically aim for the headshot, it will calculate the, the trajectory for you, and all you have to do is press the trigger when they're close Target enough. Eliminated. Now the only downsides of it is, if the you're trying to kill actual pilots, which is what is referred target. to as an other human players, Eliminate it takes a full, uh, lo longer pistol. to do so. It takes target three locks, neutralized. to be specific, and even then that takes a, s a startlingly low amount of time. Some enemies, especially but pilots, require it multiple doesn't locks have the amount of range, and it still can be used kill as a normal pistol, that's pistol. just fine, but target it down. doesn't have a lot of range. So if you're ever using this weapon when you're in the um, actual beta, or if you see this while well, the beta's still out, or if you're actually in the game, you have to remember to kind of sticks inside Switch a building or rifle. something like that. But anyway, here I'm going to show the R101C carbine. Shot. You can aim down now I'm trying to jump over there, and, and then I f I, something unbounded my um, my uh, aim down sight, so I quickly exit out, change Destroy it, and then these guys spawn the in. The so I quickly range. fire at all of them, and I like the system. In Battlefield, there is a lot of... Oh, crap. I'm getting into actual first impressions. Uh, anyway. Grenade system's pretty basic, you know, it's the arc, cr typical arc shot, and... Throw a grenade into each yeah, this Hammond P2011 is essentially a, it's essentially a Battlefield G18 with more ammo, and better accuracy, and a slightly bit more recoil. Four out so, of yeah. four. Once you throw nice one grenade, you can pretty much figure out the arc. But then different grenades are different, obviously. But anyway, here we're actually getting into a combat scenario. You'll spawn in on combat this map. I think this is their training map or Destroy whatever. All opposition and I'm switching between weapons here. I've got my smart pistol and your the other thing equipped. And it's gonna s the game's going to spawn in some AR enemies for display. me. And they come down on these drop ships, and I just essentially run around with a smart pistol shooting things. Troops. And I get the hang of it, because before, in the actual simulation, in the training simulation, you're in kind of a small environment, you don't have a lot of freedom to move around. But in this map, you do, so I'm quickly getting the hang of moving around and through buildings and stuff like that. And this is why I say the smart pistol is overpowered, because I'm just eliminating these people. Uh, they're computers, obviously, but I'm just eliminating them in, like, split seconds. So it's 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 overpowered as it is. They have tried to counter it using range and a whole bunch of other things, but I still think it's definitely overpowered. It locks on within two seconds, and all I have to do is pull the trigger once, and it'll kill both of them. It's well fairly easy. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Anyway, Titans so I believe it's going to spawn in a Titan now. I can't hear the audio switch from the video, so I, I think weapon. that's what it's doing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so right now I'm trying to switch to my anti-Titan weapon, which is this, which fires small microbursts. And one of the things that the Transformers movies Destroy actually got right is that anything mechanical, if you hit it with repeated strikes, it will jack up, I believe the line from the movie is, their electronic systems. And that's the same thing in real life. And this is essentially that, coupled with explosions. Now the Titan Shields, as you've probably heard in the actual narration, the Titan Shields have been turned off, so it's fairly easy to take them out with a couple bursts from your... Uh, I believe this is called the Sidewinder? I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm using the closing system to kind of navigate around this Titan, and the Titan eventually starts to die, and I'm just kind of hopping around, uh, bunny jumping Halo style Good to... Uh, Avoid taking enemy titan incoming fire and taking the, right the enemy titan out. But Pilots I believe it's going to call titan in my titan now. In and you actually get to see built, you can actual titan, titan gameplay. To continue, if it would, please or, yeah. initiate Titanfall. Yeah, so here I'm you're calling in your Titan. Look to I've set it to, to V. Um, actually, no, they had had it set to V, and I find it kind of funny that V looks like a downward-facing arrow, so it's like Titanfall. I, I, I thought that was kind of cool. But I always liked the idea of a Titan. Titans now, there's a slight graphical a error there, as you can see. But I've always liked the idea Firing of a Titan or like an AI pal that you could carry around with you that was massive, big, and could basically fight for you. And that's what it can do. The Titan is able to move around and fight for you if need be, so you can get out and set it to auto-follow mode where it will auto-follow you and engage enemies around you. That makes it slightly dumber, per se, because it's an intelligence rather than a human intelligence, so it isn't as best as it could be. But um, this is essentially the Titan 
movement. You've got, it's equipped me with a quad rocket here, which I don't like particularly much, because it's not suited for infantry combat, as, as, you hear, as you're seeing here. But they're all using small arms weapons, so it's fairly easy to, well, crush them. <laughs> but, you see those two bars just below my crosshairs? Those are your, uh, I guess you could say, I don't know, what could you call it? You could call it, um, oh, what's the name? Dashing, dash bars, that's what they use. Anyway, if you press space when you're moving in any direction, you will dash in that direction. And that Excellent. will use up one dash bar, and complete. that's cool. Now, the other Titan, the um, Swift something, I don't know, it has three dash bars instead of two, because this is an Atlas Titans Titan, can so it's built for taking damage rather than mobility. Changes. And the other Proceed. Titan that you can Finish have in the beta from a burn left. card is dash like the Swift backwards. something or rather. It's able to have three bars on it, which makes it highly more mobile, display. but it isn't able to take Each as much damage. Now, my only grievance dash. with this system is that forward. Titans aren't able to jump. Now, I understand why. The verticality is, is supposed to be for infantry, to give them an edge against these Titans giant mechanical things. But, I still Move think it would be cool if Titans could rocks. hop a little bit. No, obviously, with the addition of Spacebar, that would be kind of pointless, but I still think it's kind of... I, feel, I still think it would be a nice idea. And I'm starting to talk about first impressions, which is what I said I wouldn't do, but oh well, I'm starting to do it now. And... The other, the just like infantry, you're given a limited amount of abilities in the beta. Threats. The Titans have the this vortex shield, shield this ability, which essentially catches all enemy bullets or missiles or whatever, them. and you're able to hold them there and then fire them back at the enemy. Which is very, very cool, except it isn't 100% accurate. I've only played about three to four games of... Um, technical online, but it isn't completely well accurate with when you release it. For example, I've had missiles go straight up or straight down, um, just depending. Now, I'm not sure what they depend on, I think it's random. The more bullets you have, the more random some will be, but the less random some others will be. I don't know the mathematical equation in which they choose firing, but they do. The so here it's going to demonstrate the uh, Titan ability to get out of your Titan. titan. So you just clamber out, and all of a sudden you're in infantry mode, and then your Titan is still there. And right now it's set to guard the area, or essentially hold still. And so you use this cool little knife hacking thing, <laughs> which, uh, can control their kind of unrealistic, AI but you know what, this is a game with bullets can that can arc their pathing and giant Titans, so, uh, whatever. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titans so as we go through the tutorial AI here, tutorial here, it's essentially explaining what to do you with your Titan and to set it to auto-follow mode, your and here I've set it to auto-follow mode, and now my Titan will walk around and guard you, essentially. Your titan and re now, to combat the enemy Titan, I, I really like these animations where it puts you in to itself. I found that kind of cool. Um, it reminds me a lot of uh, Iron Man 3, when Tony has the uh, Iron Man suit basically controlled by a computer system, a computer Titans security system, because he's paranoid and he's trying to protect himself and he has it coded so that whenever he gets a high heart rate available, it will come and try and save him. Which is kind of what happens with these Titans. Titan uh, I find I, th the That's what it reminds me of at least. Anyway, the, another ability that the Titans now. have is this kind of secondary sure fire button. And now there's multiple ones you can have inside of the beta. I have only accessed one, the one you spawn with, Prepare because I've only gotten to like, level test. two. I don't know, Try somewhere in there. All of the skills you have learned. So, Enemy titan these abilities are rather cool. They, they can be used, I like using them when I'm reloading, that way I can keep up practical continuous fire. And the vortex can be used when they're using their um, secondary thing. Essentially, I'm using the building as cover here, dodging around this uh, AI Titan, and it starts to go around that side. So I poke my head around here, fire my secondary, and it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to predict a little bit because there's a certain delay in the bullets. The it's wave. not uh, obviously these bullets aren't instant hits, um, although there is no bullet drop in this game because the distances incoming. aren't typically aren't far enough. At least I don't think Enemy there's bullet drop. I haven't obser observed any bullet weapons. drop. There's obviously things with grenades. There's gravity affecting them, but I don't think there's any with the bullets or anything. 
So right now it's spawned in two enemy titans, and it's telling me to survive as long as I can. So I know the other titan's off to my right, so I'm just trying to pick off this guy, and I engage the vortex shield, and I only get like what, one bullet. And you can see there it isn't Each perfectly titan has a shield accurate. That incoming damage. Your but shield bar I, this titan is just sitting there. They're both just sitting there while it explains if you avoid uh, shield for stuff and all that. So I try and I, I, I think it's going to reactivate the them in a second. So I kind of back away from them. In combat. Taking breaks to recharge and is necessary. I'm not sure. Yeah. So they get back up again here. And anyway, it's kind of hard to control the rockets because there's a certain amount of delay between the firing. So that titan blows up, and I've got only one titan left, and it's uh, it's having a nice time trying to chase me down, and I'm essentially holding still, or trying to hold still, and I try and fire this grate in a couple of seconds here, um, unsuccessfully, because I thought my bullets were big enough that I could just rip right through it, but then I guess not. This isn't Battlefield, there's no destructible maps, <laughs> uh, yet at least, I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. Nice use of the vortex shield here. It tries to melee me, and it eventually is blows up. At the top center of your HUD. Notice that when so your this last round in the training simulation here, it's impossible to survive because all the tight there's three titans that will shortly. spawn in. They all have their shields engaged, and you have got to survive for as We've long as you can. No, I don't Prepare make it that far wave. or that long. And they also kind of crap on you more because they spawn them in incoming. in three Enemy in a triangle formation. So essentially, there's no way Use you can concept. hide and take them on. Maybe two on one, two on one, or one on one. They are basically all going to come at you at once. So there's two over there, and I think I'm safe here. I'm watching for any more, and that guy spawns on my left. So I'm like, oh crap! I'm I'm surrounded. Essentially, I'm trapped in a corner. And I engage my vortex shield too late there. This guy's their second to the left, catch all the bullets, I fire all that off. Dying rapidly here, that titan comes at me, there's another titan off to my right, and it's like, oh my god, there's Your such chaos. And then so it's telling Combat me to eject, they stop firing, so I'm state. like, okay, well, whatever. Click and hold, yep. Fire it in, Oof. and we, it launches you out like this, you can get on the back of another titan. Because that's how pilots are... Um, Essentially, Excellent. infantry take out titans if they're either out of ammo and their titan weapon or they're close enough to kill it. So you can hop in the back, you pull out the stuff, and you start shooting the core of the titan, which I find a rather odd system to design. But yeah, that's the tutorial for Titanfall Beta. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for the actual first impressions video. And yeah. I found this kind of cool how that oh, image flickers. I thought I was on. I actually believed that I was there, and then that image flickers, and then all of a sudden reveals you're in a dropship over what I think to be Earth. It might not be Earth, it might be another hospitable planet. But anyway, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time. This is the Hexagon Zero, signing out.